And see, that's the problem with churches and Christianity today. It's because you see people in wheelchairs and we don't pray for them, we don't do anything for them because you have no faith. But I tell you this right now, who's ever in that wheelchair who ever needs that lift, I pray right now by the power and the authority of the sign of Christ that their limbs be healed and whole now in the name of the child. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That they be healed. Healed. No sickness and disease should ever be in the face of the children of the Most High. No crippling disease. Let's continue on. How are we at? Of how much sore punishment suppose ye shall be, he br be brought worthy, who hath trodden under the foot of the Son of God Ahia, and hath counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing, and hath done despised the Spirit of grace.
First Timothy. No. First Timothy. Four. First Timothy four, one through five. Let's get it. Thanksgiving 
of them which believe and know the truth. Uplift the people. All I'm trying to do is tell you who you are and tell you what the God, what, what the Most High says that you should eat. Now I know what Christ went through when He tried to tell the people back then. The 
scripted for Pagrafa. Second Edras 7, verse 22 through 24. Nevertheless, they were not obedient and spoke against him. They were not obedient and they spoke against the Most High. Right? They devised for themselves vain thoughts. Verse 23. And proposed themselves wicked fraud. They even declared that the Most High Ahiah does not exist. They even say atheists. God doesn't exist. We got something for it, right? And they ignored his ways. They scorned his law and they denied his covenant. And black people, Mexicans, and Native Americans should be ashamed of themselves to say that the Most High does not exist. <laughs> when he said, you're my chosen people. Right? The sex they scorned his law and denied his covenant, they have been unfaithful to his statutes and have not performed his works. Which is worse 
worse than our ways that have been mentioned. Now what could be worse? Right? Than all the ways that have been mentioned because they so utterly waste away in confusion and be consumed with shame and so wither with fear and seeing the glory of the Most High. And you are going to see the Most High on your way to hell. You're going to see heaven on your way to hell. You're going to see all that on your way to hell. You're going to wish that you follow God's dietary law. You're going to wish that you kept the law of statutes and the commandments of the Most High. On your way to hell, you're going to see all that. You're going to see heaven on the way to hell. It's not my word. Let's just read the seventh way again. The seventh way, which is the worst of all the ways that have been mentioned, because they so utterly waste away in confusion and be consumed with shame. So wither with fear at seeing the glory of the Most High and Higher in whose presence they sin, while they were alive in whose presence they are to be judged in the last time. You're to be judged in the what, what that means being judged in the last time. You're gonna face two deaths. The first death is when you leave this earth and you go to hell because of your sin and your rebellion. The second way is when you are judged in the lake of fire. And when you burn for eternity. Sunday was just, it was so childish. See, churches don't teach out of this. Churches don't teach out of the apocrypha. Right.